the majority of men consider themselves to be good men, good husbands, good fathers, good brothers, good sons. And most women would tell you that they married a good guy. I married a good one, they'll say. But, but I really wish he would help more with the kids. I really wish he would spend more time with the family in general. I wish he had more visibility in what it takes to run this house. I wish he could see that I don't get a minute to myself and I'm drowning over here. He's a great guy. He really is. He's such a good father, but I need more, right? That's the story we hear so often, which is that, yes, he's great. He's fantastic. He's amazing, but I am drowning a bit by myself over here, and I feel like I'm taking care of everything in this house by myself, and I do everything for the kids by myself, and I work full time, and I don't get a minute to myself, and yeah, he's great, but like when he golfs on the weekends, I'm exhausted, and I don't get any space to myself, and then I just get to go back to work on Monday without a breather, and I'm just... You know, he's a great guy, but I could use more. And when they ask for more, they are met with such defensiveness as if them daring to ask for more is an insult in itself. When what women are saying is, it is not enough to consider yourself to be good. You actually have to do good by the people in your lives. You actually have to see your partner as a human being and not just a mother and a wife. You have to see your children for what they are, which is your children, which means you have to participate in their lives. And you have to participate in the things that make their lives work. Food shopping, clothing, all of it. You have to do good to be considered good. And I think that's where we miss a lot of this conversation where it goes in one ear out the other is because people already consider themselves to be good and we call them good. We say you're a good dad, you're a good husband, but you don't know who the kids' teachers are. You're a good husband, but you haven't let me have a day to myself in five years. Like you're a good participate in this home because you bring in a paycheck but you don't even know what food our kids eat is that really good we need to decide for each of us for all of us what good is right and for all of us that's going to be different but I think we all imagine and hope to marry good people and the ones who are truly good will hear you will adapt will change will be willing to work on things because they love you and because they are good But for those who don't want to do that, I really do question if having good intentions or considering yourself to be good is truly enough. 